Hi, I'm Tracy Christensen. Welcome to Community Connection. Autumn is just around the corner, and with changing leaves and cooler weather comes the scary stories that traditionally mark the season. The Timpanoga Storytelling Festival has become the largest event of its kind in the world. Elliot Wilcox is here today to tell us about a contest specifically designed to bring us the thrills and chills of the spooky time of year. Hi, Elliot. Hi, Tracy. Thank you for having us. Yeah, so exciting, the October hauntings. Yeah, so we're most well known for our, our festival, yes. which happens early September every year. But one of the things we do every year also is we have the, we offer the opportunity for storytellers around the region to come together and compete by telling their favorite scary stories. And it's called our Hauntings Contest, and it's a lot of fun. Um, we open it up to performers, any contestants who are interested in doing it. And every year we get this uh, great range of, um, of performers, and they can come together um, and, and tell their best stories. Um, first, they'll tell them to us, and then we can whittle it down to a, a panel of judges. We'll invite the very best back to come and do a public performance for the finals um, right around Halloween time every year. Wow, so about how many do you get that perform at that event? So it's always fun. We always start off with between 15 and 30 tellers, and then we pick our, our top six to eight who do the public performance. And it's a great opportunity for um, people to come to see, what, first of all, what storytelling is all about, but also to share those stories that they think that others will really be drawn towards. A little Halloween mood, kind of. How scary are these stories? Exactly. Well, they're always going to be geared for a, a full family audience, but we do recommend, you know, older elementary and up, just uh, depending on the content and to make sure we don't keep kids up with nightmares <laughs> for the rest of the week. Seriously. So, so who, how do people get tickets and how do they? So it's, it's a free event. Um, nice. We offer it every year as a free event for the community and contestants um, can come online, they can register online. There's a small fee that covers their t-shirt and their entry. And, um, and then they have the opportunity, the finalists come back and perform for the community. Um, we, everyone can come onto our website and find out more information. It's timpfest.org. And they can find out either how to register or how to, how to come and enjoy the stories. That's fun, that's a fun way to continue the storytelling it is the year. and it's always a great audience it's always a full house and it's a great way for people to come and kind of get that mood um, it's always a few days before Halloween so they get a chance to to kind of bring some of those great stories that'll that'll help them really enjoy the season people love a scary story and what else do you have going on throughout the year yeah so this is just one of multiple year-round events that we offer we offer year-round um, programs for the community throughout the state um, and we also have another contest um, around April Fool's time that's always a tall tale contest. So if you got one of those Fine. grandpas that always, <laughs> the fish gets bigger and bigger, this might be a great way for him to share off, to show off to the community as well. That is great. And all of that information is on your website? Yes, correct. Timfest.org. Um, as well as programming for schools as well. So if teachers want to get involved with this and learn how they can help their students to develop their own stories, we offer free programs where they can work with national storytellers and um, the kids can develop and actually perform their own stories as well. Well, it's, it's a great program that's grown so much and something we really can be proud of in our community. So thank you. Thank you for having us. KBYU 11 acts as a bridge between you and groups or organizations that provide entertainment, help, and services. You can learn more about what's going on in our area by visiting our website at kbyu11.org. Thanks so much for watching. Please join us next time on Community Connection.